Okay, so welcome back to the second lesson of um, Turing CSS for beginners. So in this video we will be talking about uh, typography in Turing CSS, how you can style typography, how you can set the size, the color and everything for a typography. So yeah, this is uh, for a beginners uh, tutorial. So we will be covering uh, font family, uh, text size, font weight, text alignment, text color, and text uh, transformation. Yeah, so as you guys can see, we have already used some of the properties here, but we will be practicing more uh, below here. So I'm going to add a brick tag, and first of all, I'll have H1. So this will be heading one I'm gonna go and duplicate this a few times so maybe a couple of times more okay so this is heading one this will be heading two this will be three mm. heading four this is just a text all of them are h1 so this is five and this will be and six yep so if i save here and go here you guys can see but first of all i want all of them uh, have some space from the left so for that this is not the topic of this video but i just want some space so I'm going to go and add a class of P, Y, which means in the vertical direction, I want four of uh, the padding for each of, uh, okay, this is uh, horizontal, but uh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll add P, X, which means horizontal. And once it's saved, you guys can see some space over here. <clears throat> and if you guys can, can notice, you guys uh, uh, can see that since these are H1 tags, but still they are not uh, big enough. So what we can do is we can we can set our own font uh, sizing. We can set our own font sizing and styling for each of them. So for the first one, what I want to do is I want to set the size of text hyphen uh, there are so many different properties so for the first one I want 6xl which means 6 times large and you guys can see this is so large and for the second one let me try text hyphen 5xl save and this is a bit more large but smaller than the first one and the similar way I'll try um, text hyphen 4xl for this one I'll go with text hyphen 3xl and for this one text hyphen xl and for this one text hyphen medium I think and here yeah, you guys can see all of these uh, different uh, font um, sizing so for the first one what I need to do is I will set the font uh, okay we haven't set the font uh, family yet so by default Tailwind CSS comes with th three of the different font families but you can um, of course uh, customize that which we are not going to cover so for that i'll go with font hyphen sans if i save this is already the sans serif font but if i can go to tailwind css come over here and if i can show you guys the font families so I can scroll more right after, yeah, 
you guys can see font sans and let me set the fonts uh, serif so save this file and you guys can see this is serif now and for this one um, yeah so this is how you can do the, the font change the font family so for this one let me use the third one which is for font mono okay so i'll close the documentation in font hyphen mono uh M -O -N -O, save and you guys can see all these are different so by default it is font uh, sans this one is serif and this one is mono all right so the next uh, thing is the font weight uh, which we are going to use here so for this one i'll go with font hyphen bold maybe and you guys can see this is bold for the second one i'll remove i'll remove these three because we don't need that for now and this one would be font hyphen mm -hmm. normal and there are several different options so this one is normal and for the third one let me do the font hyphen bold as well save and this one is bold as well okay so this is all about uh, the font width there are as i said there are several different options you guys can check that and now for the text alignment you guys can see i have already used property called a text center so this make the text uh, in the center of the page so for this one i'll use uh, the same as text hyphen center and you guys can see this is in the center and for this one i'll use font hyphen left which is by default and for this one is font hyphen right uh, i think this is not font this is text so you guys might confuse with the font in the text as well so text you guys can see this is now left and this is right of the page so since we don't uh, the, the the layout is totally broken so i will remove these uh, text center and left and right properties the next thing is this text color so let uh, there are there are a lot of different option about the font colors uh, you guys can explore it by yourself but let me walk you through um, through the documentation so if i go here and there are tons of different options typography in right below here text color and you guys can see all of these are different colors which uh, you guys can see a class here properties in uh, actual color uh, and all these colors are provided by Tailwin CSS so you guys can see yep and the next thing is uh, it has several different values each color has several different values like you guys can see this one gray this is 50 this is uh, darker than the 50 this, this one is even more darker and this is getting darker until 900 uh, until 950 so and 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 there are color names like gray zinc neutral and stone red orange so for this one i'm gonna go with text hyphen orange which is my favorite color and i'm gonna go with 500 save let's have a look so you guys can see so first of all i'm gonna go and try the different depth of the colors so this one will be 200 let me go with 200 i'm gonna go and copy this class 
paste this here and make it 600 paste this one here and make it 950 save and yes you guys can see these are getting so uh, so much darker and you guys did this this one is called most black so let me decrease it to 800 save and you guys will see the difference yep here is the difference so usually we can use 600 everywhere so 600 for this 600 for this and 600 for all of them and um, but i'm gonna go in change the color so this one will be lime and this is not lime and there are several different uh, colors and options so this one could be red let's try red and this one is red now and the last property is text transformation so it's really simple like this one i want uppercase and this is now uppercase for this one I want camel case uh, I don't, don't know if this is like mm, we can check so turn with CSS go here and in the typography we have a lot of different options but I'm just gonna cover the basics of uh, in the text so lowercase normal case capitalize uppercase so i'm gonna go with capitalize actually we don't have any of this camel case oh this is actually capitalized so this one is uppercase capitalized and this one is normal so as you guys can see uh, it is providing a lot of different options regarding to colors, to sizes, families and everything. Make sure to check this all by yourself. And that's it for this video and see you in the next one.